So I promised you in the slideshow some functions. Let's break out some of this functionality into a function. Because you know what? This is just getting a tad long. Yeah, before we do that, paragraphs are nice, but what if we put these things in a list instead? Uh -huh. You know about lists? How do I make a list in HTML? What kind of element is that? So there's ordered lists and unordered lists, right? Ordered lists will be numbered. Unordered lists will be bulleted. I don't think order particularly matters here, so I'm going to use an unordered list, which is a UL, right? Cool. So instead of adding a paragraph, let's make an LI. I mean, excuse me, uh, a, a UL. So, okay, I'm going to call this list document create element. What kind of element? UL. So the thing you put inside create element needs to be a real HTML element. Otherwise, it'll create this weird thing called unknown element. It won't raise an exception. It'll just create a, a weird thing. So since I changed this variable name, I'm going to go through right now before I forget and just change it everywhere else. But what would be really cool is if each of these attributes, name and age and favorite color, were an item in that list. So for each new person whose stuff I enter, every time I submit the form, it's going to create a whole new list. And each of the individual stats are going to be a list item. And a list item is what kind of element? Li. So here's what I'm going for. You don't need to type this because uh, we're going to do this with JavaScript. But the idea is I would have a UL in here. And inside there, I'd have an Li that says name colon Davy. How do you mean? Where the name and age are bullets, but the list item is equal? I meant each new person is going to be an entirely new list. So each of these is a new li, which means a new bullet in the list. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Cool. Age, a uh, whole bunch of years. Favorite color. Hmm, I'm not sure how to do that. But that's the idea. So it would look something like this when I'm done. So we're going to try to build this sort of structure using JavaScript. So we got the first part create the list. But instead of just setting text content in there, what do I need to do? Let's just do one field at a time. How would I add the name? Is the name just text inside the UL in this version? It's an LI, right? It's, its, own, it's inside of this whole separate element. So we need to create that element, right? So, I don't know, const name item equals document dot create element li. Does that make sense? See why I needed to do that? And then we could set the text content of that. So we have a ul. Inside there, we've, we want an li. And inside the li, we want some text. So that text goes inside the item name item 
dot text content. And it's going to be name, colon, space. And I put this in back ticks, not quotes, because I want to do interpolation here, like that. Now, is this li just going to be in that list? Nope, we just created an li element and it's just floating around in the ether. We need to append it, right? So list dot append child name item. And then the list itself needs to be appended to the div, right? So we need to create all these li's. <coughs> and append them to the list, and then append the whole list to the div that's actually on the page. As soon as we say create element li and set its text, we have an li, but it's nowhere. As soon as we run append child on the list, that li is now part of the list, but the list is nowhere in particular. So when we're done doing all of that for all of these fields, we can append it to stats and it'll actually be on the page. So name shouldn't be too hard, right? I mean age, const age item, create element li, age item, dot text content equals backtick age colon string interpolation age. Now the li exists. I've set its text, but it's still nowhere. So I need to append it to the list. So list is the thing I'm appending to. So that's the element I call append on, not the, uh, the list item. Append child. What child? Age item. Color. Color seems a little trickier. We could... By the way, you get why I'm naming this variable age item? Because age is the actual age, right? It's the number. Age item is a list item that contains that. Const. Uh, let's call it color item equals document create element li. Hmm. And we could say color item dot text content equals the favorite color. And then I suppose we could set the background color. Cool. So color item dot style dot background color equals favorite color. Now that list item is still just floating in space. I need to append it to the list. then I don't need to set anything else in the list. I just need to append the list to the page. So create a UL, this. Create an LI for the name. actually set the text inside the li. And then it's still an li floating in space, so we append it to the list. When we've done that for all of the stats, we have a list floating in space. We want to make sure it's in this div 
So at the very end, we call a pin child on that. Whoops. So I don't really want this hard-coded UL in there. Let's see if it works. Refresh. Name. Caleb. Haven't pestered him enough. Age bunch. Favorite color. Purple. Go. Name Caleb. Age 423. 80080. But hey, it's purple. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take it. Git add takes it from the working copy to the index. So git is tracking it. Commit takes it from there to the actual history. Add stats in an unordered list. If I had a second person, like uh, Jake the Snake, favorite color, red, go, hey, I get a separate list with a red background there. Cool. It works. Did I push? I did. I just didn't point it out. <laughs>